All right, five stores. I mean, uh, the Diamond District. This heist is actually pretty good for a free heist. Starbury said the inspiration for it was four stores and Mall Crasher. I definitely see the inspiration from four stores, obviously, because the heist is just five stores, but I don't see the Mall Crasher inspiration. I just don't see it, not even in loud. It, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just missing something, but um, probably am. But anyway, this is a good spawn. I like starting with Ashton Find anyway. Now I am going for all loot. Now if you are just going for all bags, which you don't need all of the loose stuff, you know, which I'm going for, uh, you don't need that if you are just going for the all bag bonus. You just need the actual bags, which there's not that many in this heist. Um, but unfortunately, I will need to mask up at the very end because these two display cases here cannot be open while you're still in casing mode. You need to mask up in order to melee or shoot them open, which, you know, just sucks. As well as the vault in the glimmer shop down there has an iris scanner and you need to, um, the guard. obviously grab the sieve while you're masked up and throw them into the iris scanner. So we're going to need to mask up for that as well. But anyway, let's we'll start right here. See if the metal detector the thing is right here. Or not metal detector, display case alarm. Metal detector. There's no metal detector around here. It's a switch that disables the thing that's preventing me from doing things. Spotted a guard. So, I mean, same thing, kind of. There's a QR code phone on that couch I saw, but I might ignore that one. I only need one QR code. I might just get it. Oh, dang it. I wasn't paying attention. I might just grab that one off the couch just because, um, just because it's right there, you know? Give me all the money. I'll just get this real quick. Right. One. Then we'll go ahead and activate that lure. Get this dude in there. Guard, over there. Go What's check it? it out, dude. Yeah, go check it out. Grifter is so good. <laughs> Once I get this, we're going to whack him with the door and hack his radio. Then he'll forget why he even went in there. All right. I'm going to get all the ones that require lock picking first. Just in case. Should be able to get most of them. What are you laughing about? That wasn't funny. Okay, I managed to get most of them. Spotted a guard. Yeah, but I didn't get the big ones. That's okay. Guard over there. Perfect. All right, that should be everything from in here. Let me grab my ECM before I forget. And then we'll go ahead and check out that place. That's one of the three spawn locations for the jewelry scanner. Right here is a safe spot for bags. If only my courier would follow me a little bit faster. Oh, I didn't put him over far enough. Right here is a safe spot for bags. As long as they don't radio it, it's perfectly fine, you know? Okay. Then we head on up here. You're not loud in here. Yes, I am. Bye. Loser. They spot you so fast now when you're moving. They like made a change to it and make stealth quite a bit more annoying to be honest not really harder just more annoying because like they insta spot you just from moving in front of them in like an illegal area so that far right one will always have a possible fault combination no scanner in here all right let's check out these one two three two two three one is going to be the code two two three three two two three one all right, we bag that, and then bag 
that. There we go. Okay, and then the next one. One, five, six, zero. Not there. Not there. One, six, five, zero. All right. One, six, five, zero. Boom. Boom. All right. There we go. Now to just grab all of the loose stuff from in here. There are documents to check in here, but there's no point in searching them. There's never anything under them in this place. The only one that that matters in is uh, with this ring place over there. All right. Watch the guard. Perfectly fine. Spotted a guard. All right. Dump those there. And then let me go up for my last bag. Guard. They just spot you so damn quick now. <laughs> All right. I need my ECM back, though. I should have grabbed it when I grabbed that last bag. Oh, well. Kind of be like that sometimes. All right. And now... There's a guard. Let's check out this place here. The Glimmer. All right, let's see if the jewelry scanner spawned back here. It did, very cool, all right. So let me go ahead and grab some of these and start getting them scanned. All right. Good. I always forget that one right there. Is a guard. There he is. Listen, Dallas. Move. You need to mark the guard, man. That's okay. If you want to up the value, you should run the bags through the multi tag scan. Right. And then we go out over here and go straight to the van. Boom. There we go. Easy. I think this is the best spawn for the jewelry scanner in this building here because you could get to the um, van very quick. All right, let's go ahead and get all of this stuff from over here. So you can close this, but if you do, obviously it closes that here, like that. And then the guard that comes in here, he'll go in through that door here, which kind of ruins your route to get all the bags to the van. So it's better to just leave it open. Alright, make sure we're grabbing everything. Don't want to miss anything. I already got the display case alarm down. Alright. And then we'll take this to the van. Cool. Alright. Then we'll grab our ECMs back, and we'll go ahead and head into the last... Well, there's two more places. Because remember, this is five stores, not four stores. Five stores. Go ahead and run over to... with this ring. Actually, let's do this one. This one's pretty small. Guard. Alright. Hey man, how's it going? Of course he shows up right when I'm, you know... Trying to do this. Frickin' dude. Alright, whatever. While I'm waiting for him to leave, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this clean jewelry and take it to the van. Alright. Thanks for marking the camera, that's not a problem. <laughs> okay, perfect timing. The guard is now out here. Gotta be careful not to get spotted by him, though. Back him while he's facing away. Alright, get in here. 
All right. Unlocking these saves takes so long. <laughs> I think if you mask up, you should be able to set up a drill on these saves. Although, obviously, that's going to make a lot of noise if you're in stealth, but, um, you know. Would it be worth getting spotted by this guard? Which protocol still has a decent amount of time left? Eh, no, nope. we can just get there. past him. Oh, no, he caught me. Oh man. You shouldn't be in here. I shouldn't be in here. You I shouldn't be in you here. Come with me. This area is restricted. You need me to do what with Please you? Stay out of the restricted areas, okay? I'm good. What's the guard? <laughs> hey, that was rude. I was trying to go out the door behind you, man. Alright, anyway. Back to what I was doing before I was rudely interrupted by that guard. Gotta be careful of her walking in here, because she will get mad at me for uh, grabbing the bags. <laughs> Alright. And now, on to the final jewelry store. With this ring. Now, there is no lead guard, because they did the, uh, they changed up the security modifiers, so... That'll actually make this slightly easier, because then there will only be two guards up front instead of, um, three. There's still the guy up there, but there's this guy, and then there's the Payday 2 reference guy. Right now, he's going to be our main threat. I can't reach it. Oh man. Oh well. I'll get this stuff. Watch the guard. I'm not doing anything illegal. You're doing something illegal. All right. I'm tempted to run, like once I get two bags, I'm tempted to just run them over to the scanner. So I'm not wasting too much time waiting for the scanner. I think that might be a, a good idea. Guard, over there. I think that is exactly what we're gonna do. Watch the guard. Oh, I don't have my ECMs on me. That's fine. I don't need them. Got to be careful not to activate them. I wish that bot, that keybind could be separate, so you don't accidentally activate your placed DCMs or placed gadget in general. All right, that was risky to grab those, but I needed them, so you know. I'm trying to mark the card. Thank you. All right. These two right here are really annoying to grab because the interaction for them while crouched is like very. Come on. There we go. Perfect. I'm not even going to grab it crouched. All right. Now, earlier I said that this guy's a Payday 2 reference. The reason that is, is because sometimes he likes to get stuck right there. And it's a reference to when guards get stuck in Payday 2 stealth, which I think is a pretty cool guard? callback, albeit an annoying one, because for one, there's a camera a ca there. A camera. So, um, I need to place one of my ECMs under it. And then I also need to lockpick all three of these in order to open them, and then I need to grab them. So, um, it makes that a little bit annoying to get all the loot from there. The guard. But that's just kind of how it be sometimes. You know, at least there's no lead guard to deal with right now. Alright, we'll wait for that to go down. Place our ECM. We're gonna get caught by this guy, but that's perfectly fine. Yes, I can. There we go, now he doesn't care. I guess while we're waiting for him to, you know, leave us alone. You've got all the stones we need, so you're good to go. But are you sure this is all we want? No, it's not all we want. To leave all those diamonds behind. That's why we're not leaving anything behind. Apparently, I can't mark him through this display case. 
Ooh, the... Ah, game died for a second. looking at me. That guy down there. Alright. Got all that stuff. Over there. Hey! Freaking random civilian getting in my way, blocking me from grabbing the jewelry. What the heck? Alright. I'm gonna save that stuff for last because it is annoying when that guard gets stuck there. You know? I don't think there's any more bag to loot around here. Yeah, I think I grabbed the last bag, so we'll just take this over to the jewelry scanner. So we don't have to wait even longer. Already subscured. Subscured? That's not even a word. Secured five bags. And this should make six. Subcured. There's a new word. I don't even know what it means. Well, sub, I guess that kind of means under, so we under-secured, meaning we didn't secure enough? I guess maybe that's what it could mean? I don't know. I, I, I'm not a word maker. I make wor new words all the time, but I don't even know what they mean. Most of the time, I'm just fumbling words together, you know? All right. Now, I do need to get in here for two things. The vault, and there is one loose diamond that'll be over there. Well, like a handful of diamonds that are over where the jewelry scanner would be on this side, in this building. I think this is the worst spawn for it, because it's, like, way back there. Just because it's so far away from the van. These other two are better, because they're a lot closer to the van. All right. Now the annoying part. We'll leave that there for that guy for right now. The guard. Of course, he's moving over there. Ooh. Mm, I'd rather just go the other way. I'd rather not waste a QR code on that. Okay. Check this in. Guard over there. So basically, we just got to get in there, unlock one, and then get out before he spots us. You can only get spotted by a guard two times. And then you use glitch protocol to hack their radio, obviously. Then a third time, they'll just straight up cuff you. They'll arrest you, you know? Then they'll start a search. So, you can only get caught twice by the same guard. Hey, watch it, dude. No, I won't watch it. If I had another person with me, I could just bump into him. Or, I can get caught by this guy right in there. And then, um, when he goes in there, let him escort me out. And then he's not looking. Then the other person can go back here and unlock all this stuff for me. But unfortunately, we're solo stealthing. Alright, let detection go down. I should probably go for the super far one. He's definitely going to spot me on this, but that's okay. Don't unlock that <laughs> when he's you watching you. This area is restricted. I can be in here, actually. Civilian. Then I go all the way, right at the very edge. <laughs> so it forces him to walk all the way over here. I think you took a wrong turn, buddy. Please follow me. No, I didn't. I did not take a wrong turn. Come on, you need to follow me. Hack yeah. your radio, man. You're not allowed in here. a guard. You'll be able to see me. Guard over there. You're the first stop. Let's go. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, dude. And a guard. don't make this difficult. Just follow me. I'll let you off with a warning. Don't wander off again. I'm wandering off immediately. Yeah, that's the annoying part. I hate how that guard gets stuck there. Because he's supposed to move around. He's supposed to, like, go right here, and then he goes... I think he moves over here. Like, stands, like, right there or something. But he just, like, walks along here. But nope, he's just stuck. Like a loser. There's a guard. So I can get caught by both of them one more time safely. Like that guy to move, though. Luckily, all I need to do now is just uh, grab the loose jewels out of there. So, we'll get caught by this guy. Oh man, you caught me. 
wanted a guard. Now you gotta come all the way over here to get me. Guard over there. <laughs> oh man, hurry up. Spotted a guard. No sightseeing. Come on, I'll show you out. There we are. And that's everything from in here. So now we'll actually go and grab our ECM chamber. I do need those. Alright. What's the guard? I mean, I at least need one, but I'm gonna grab both of them. You know, you never know. There's a guard. I mean, I do know, but you know. Alright, so there's one guard that's up here. There. So he's gonna be down the hall. This is the only place you need a QR code for. There's a Civ in here, though. There we are. Now, I should be standing in, like, the perfect spot where I can unlock this safe, and if Rush wears off before I'm done, I'm standing inside the civilian, so it'll just automatically refresh Rush. Because if the Civ catches you in here, he's gonna radio to a guard. Just some money, and then we check for the red key card, which is right here. All right. Guard. I don't need a hacker's radio, but I'm just gonna do it just so I can sprint on down here. All right. First thing first. Breaking into get that. that. Might take some time. What do you mean? Oh, there's probably something in there worth the effort. All right. Grab that. Grab that. And we run on over here, and then the only diamonds, right there. There's one more that I missed somewhere, but we'll grab it at some point, you know? I don't remember where it could be. Because I grabbed the one I always miss from in here. I'll have to do a little scouting because I missed one somewhere. I feel like it might be a little obvious where it's at. Gorn, over there. Probably like a super obvious one. That I obviously should have grabbed. Oh, yep. Literally right there. Alright, now those last 24 are the ones that are in the front display cases at the Ashton Fine. So, it'll be a second before Watch we can actually get to those ones. Alright. It is so rude. You know who else is so rude? You! Alright. And then we run that to there. Okay. We still have six more bags of jewelry to scan, but then we also have to get into the vault in the glimmer. And I also need to get over here, so that way I can uh, break the glass on this place. Trying to think of how I would how I want to do this. Before the security modifiers changed, I would just kill the guard in here. Well, first I would actually close the um, close the shutters, so no new civs can walk in here. Which is why I would leave this door over here locked, so that way civs can't get in. You know, and then I'd kill this guard, shoot out the camera, and then you know get all the civs down. And then I could easily just destroy the glass. And then be forever be fine. You know? But now I'm gonna have to, like, maybe wait for this Civ to leave. So that way I can actually break the glass and grab everything and escape with it. Hmm. We'll deal with that in a second, though. I probably want to do that sooner rather than later. I guess while I'm waiting for that Civ to walk back over there, I guess I can take care of this business now. I might still do it that way. The only thing is I'll need to, um... Guard, over there. Still need to be a little careful, you know? Because I can't destroy the camera, so I'll have to shove all the Civs in here, which is fine. 
Let's get it on. All right. Everyone get down. All right. Follow me. Buy you up. This is this. your father speaking to you from beyond the grave. Okay, how many sieves is that? That's more than I wanted, but move. Follow me. You follow. And you follow. I'll grab you. I'm closer to this room, so I'm just gonna toss him in here. Hold it. Get down. Right, all of you get down. And then we move you in here. And I'll grab the ECM on my way out. Alright. Grab all of this stuff. Stuff from in here. Boom. There we go. It's all but one. Now we'll leave through this way. It's really bright outside. Alright. Civ is there. As long as this guard's not here right now. Alright. ECM there. ECM there. Grab her. Toss her into this. And while I have rush, I can bag this up faster. Go on, open it. Open it up. Right. And then we got the diamond. diamond. I haven't tried shooting this, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll set off an alarm or anything like that. But the diamond. All right, get down. That it is, that it is. Alright. Now, unfortunately, the diamond, at least as of right now, doesn't count as one of the bags. And apparently it's not worth anything either, because, um... The mod that I got that shows, you know, the bag secure notification, it doesn't have anything for the diamond. Okay, so that'll be the guard. On our way. Watch this, I can use adrenaline on demand. Wow. Oh, I have adrenaline. No way. We just gotta wait like two minutes for. Hurry up. Thank you. Alright. Then we got two more. Just a matter of waiting now. But yeah, I still like this heist. I think it's good. I hope eventually they actually add a value for that diamond and maybe add it as a required bag, because it doesn't count. You know, because for some reason there's like a 19 bag limit in this game, which is just kind of odd. Which there's not even 19 bags in this heist, so why that one doesn't count is beyond me, you know? But it's still a good heist. Plus this one is free anyway, so like, I'm not complaining. Free heist is a free heist, you know. I don't know if this is going to be the new camo I'm putting on all my weapons instead of the um, instead of just the pink camo that I was doing with like that purple. It was between that and this one. I kind of like this one, but I don't have many of them, so we'll see. We'll see. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I think I might go with this one from now on. I think this one looks better than uh, this one, but I mean this one still looks good. But anyway. That is now all loot, not just all bags. That's everything. On the, the diamond. diamond. The diamond district, not the, the diamond. diamond. <laughs> anyway, how that's how we do it indeed. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I completed a daily challenge, apparently. Hell, I that forgot that those were a new thing. But anyway, place. thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, let me know by dropping a like on it. If you happen to be new to my channel, I'd also greatly appreciate you subscribing. Now, just like Dirty Ice, um, I just want to mention this real quick. Cleaning out the jewelry does not net you very much money for the amount of time that you spend doing the heist. It's not worth it. 
The XP is good. I mean, I got a little bit extra because of um, challenges. Apparently, two of the same challenge. Oh, that must be bugged. There should only be one. But um, yeah, the amount of time you spend for the amount of cash you get, it's not really worth it. Um, but it's still a good heist. Maybe they can up the uh, payout you actually get. I hope they do, you know. But anyway, well, I already said all my outro stuff already. But um, yeah, take care. Have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, nighttime, or whatever time it is for you, whatever time zone you are in. And I will catch you all later. Delta Wolf, out.